Yo, what's up guys, Mike Red Fox. In this video, we're gonna check out this new Jazz Miner X16Q ETC hash and Ed hash miner sent over by Jingle Mining. I've tested it over days and days and days to give you the most accurate results so you can decide if this is worth your investment or not. So before we get started here, I'm actually really excited to do this video because I've had an amazing experience with the last Jazz Miner I had, which was the X4-1U Ethereum and Ethereum Classic Miner that Jingle Mining sent me way back before the merge. So I was mining Ethereum with that thing and it did so well, there was actually like a conspiracy in the community that it was doing cloud mining because it was hard to believe the efficiency it had, the amount of hash rate that it was putting out for the low amount of power that it was pulling. And I'll tell you this, of all the equipment that I have, that was one, if not one of the only, that was still profitable after the merge happened when I pivoted it from mining Ethereum over to Ethereum Classic. And it's still going strong, mining away. So really great experience. So when Jingle Mining reached out to me to look at the latest Jazz Miner, I was really excited because of the experience that I had. And doing some testing on this thing, though it's not as profitable because of where cryptocurrency is price-wise these days, it's still crazy efficient and got me just as excited. So I put in the work and I did days and days and days of testing on this thing because I love doing it and to also provide you the most accurate results so you can decide whether or not this is something you want to put your money into. So thanks for the Jingle Mining. We're going to check out their website here and start working through just a little bit of the information about this miner, and then I'll show you the results that I got. So here we over on jinglemining.com, and you can see this again is the Jazz Miner X16Q, high throughput, 3U quiet server, has Wi-Fi, and the advertised hash rate right there at 1,950 mega hash. You're also probably noticing that price point, three grand, which can seem like quite a bit to invest in hardware considering the times we are in with the profitability and the electric rates spiking across all residential areas. So let's take a look a little bit further about the specs of this machine and then the performance that is promised advertised here by Jazz Miner on Jingle Mining's website. So we're gonna scroll down and this is the stuff that I love, love, love diving into because I wanna see what results I can personally get. So a couple things it can do at hash, ETC hash, you can see all the coins supported here. And then there's others as well that aren't there. We'll go through that a little bit later. And what I'm looking for is that hash rate, 1,950 mega hash, and that power consumption at 620 watts, which is amazing. And they always advertise all these ASIC manufacturers a plus minus 10% on their results. And the reason that they do that simply is because of the silicon lottery of the ASIC chip that's inside. Some are gonna perform a little bit better than others. And so that is just like a good baseline to compare your results to, to see if you're in the ballpark. And then ultimately every machine is gonna be a little bit different. And this one certainly is a little bit different as well. And I'll get into all of those specific results here in just a little bit. Other facts about this miner, it has Wi-Fi included, which is a really nice addition. Obviously, I'm using Ethernet right now. It works on 110 and 240. It's very, very quiet. 40 decibels is pretty much nothing. It's got a ton of fans in it, um, and they're very, very quiet fans. And then the other thing I wanted to call out is eight gigabytes of RAM. So if you consider around, uh, considering any DAG file sizes, that's where you're gonna be with your eight gigabytes of RAM. Otherwise, it's a very, very simple machine. If you've seen any of these uh, like little ASICs, kind of like ones that are good residentially, there's not much going on. There's just status lights in a nice case, power switch, Wi-Fi antenna, plug in ethernet, power cord, and you're up and going. And then you connect over to the dashboard, which we're gonna take a look at here right now. So I'm up in the dash. I've been mining right now for two hours because I was taking some thumbnail photos for the video, but let's just go through this a little bit and then I still have the, the results that I'm gonna show you shortly. 
So not much going here. You got temperatures for the miner, and then you got your nice chart for your hash rate over time. So this is showing your average hash rate. Um, and then in real time hash rate displayed here, and then that average hash rate as it settles out is displayed right there. And I'll go through those numbers for me in a second. Fan speeds are here, not much to talk about. Network, pool I'm using. That's pretty much it. And really the only things that you're gonna look to adjust, perhaps besides just uh, connecting it to your wireless network, if that's something you wanna do, is you're gonna wanna adjust the work mode. And this is what we're gonna spend some time talking about in this video. There's efficiency, balance, and performance. Right now it's running on efficiency, but these are three modes that the miner uses. And what's gonna happen here, is it's gonna adjust its parameters to give you a different amount of hash rate at a different amount of power. And ultimately what it comes down to is deciding what you want to do. Do you want the most amount of hash rate to get the most amount of coin and use the most amount of power? Or do you wanna play a middle ground between the amount of power you're using and the amount of hash rate you're getting? Or do you wanna be really, really efficient and use the least amount of power for the most amount of hash rate that you can get? And it really all comes down to what's best for your personal situation, which ultimately depends on your electrocape and your goals and really your risk tolerance and all of this as well. So I'll walk you through exactly what I do. What I do is I take my electric rate and I test each performance mode and I let them run for 24 hours and I measure their wattage here at the meter, which this machine runs very, very stable so the wattage does not fluctuate at all. And then I allow the hash rate to settle out both at the pool and on the dashboard of the miner. And then I take all of that information and I enter it into the mining calculators, whether you're using what to mine or miner stat or hash rate on no, whatever you want to use. And you just look at your profit for each of those uh, numbers that you get for each of the different modes and just see what's most profitable. That's what I do. And then I'll just run that. And it could be different for me or you or anybody else based on simply your electric rate and how the math works out. So let's get back over here. I'm gonna show you the pool that I'm mining at, which is for this video, I'm mining at two miners. I was just doing some testing on just Ethereum Classic. And what I'm gonna show you here is the miner running right there. And you can see the last week's worth of mining that I've done. And it really breaks down by day. You can see this is me running it on performance mode. Then I get to balance mode. And then I'm finally do down on efficiency mode as I'm doing all the testing of this machine. So we got all the numbers. I'll pull them up on the screen right here so you can see them in this note. That is performance, balance, and efficiency mode. And you can see, to no surprise, efficiency mode coming out as the most efficient. So the next thing I do is I take all that information, enter it into what's a mine, and I look at what is most profitable and I choose a baseline cryptocurrency. And for my sake in testing right now, I've chosen Ethereum Classic. So. If you go down to Ethereum Classic here, you can see it highlighted in the green. Running on performance mode, I'll be making a dollar 84 cents in profit a day. And if I go over to balance mode, I'll be making a dollar 87 cents profit per day. And finally, if I go over to efficiency mode, I'm gonna be making a dollar 88 cent profit per day, which means for me, best thing to do is just run it on efficiency mode. It's like a cent difference, but still, that's the best thing for me to do. At least that's what the data tells me. So let's keep moving on a little bit and take some of that data forward as we look at some other things. So let's see what break even is if you're mining Ethereum Classic on efficiency mode with all the information that I entered in. Your break even will be 1,631 days, which is a lot of time and is a shocking amount of days to see for spending three grand, not including you know, taxes or shipping or, or any fees or anything else on this machine. So then you look for ways to maybe make that time not as long. And one of the things that I did was start looking at mining uh, some other cryptocurrencies and really in this case is mining Ethereum Classic and Zilliqa. So over on Minerstat, have the same information entered in. You can see the Ethereum Classic mining calculator, which this one's telling me I'll be making a little bit more. I'm making a little over $2 a day in profit over the last 24 hours. And then if I mine Zilliqa along with it, I'm gonna be adding on $1.27 per day. 
per day in profit. And it does have this built in the dashboard. I'll go back, you can see the coin. You can select Ethereum Classic plus Zilliqa, as well as uh, Adhash for any of the Adhash based coins that are out there. So now if I use the EZIL mining calculator, which is a pool that lets you mine Ethereum Classic and Zilliqa together, you can see that adding those two, I'll be making about $3.20 per day in profit. So then you can take all of that and we're gonna open up calculator here and figure out maybe a more accurate and maybe best case stable break even. So let's just say we spend the three grand on this machine and we're gonna divide that by the $3.20 20 cents we will make in profit per day. And then our break even is down from around the 1600 days to 937 days, which still is quite a lot. I mean, you're looking at three year break even if everything just stayed the way it is right now. And for me, I start to look back at like, I was looking at that for some GPU purchases I was making years ago. And whether it's luck or probably just luck, it all worked out for me in the end because that break even time came down very, very, very low once the cryptocurrency prices started getting, you know, ridiculous, started going into the next bull run. So let's go back here and check uh, a couple other things out. So these aren't the only cryptocurrencies you can mine. There's plenty of other ones that use the algorithm uh, for at hash or uh, ETC hash, really, I guess, just at hash. And you can see some of them listed here. Really do your research on these because look at like the pool that it's pulling in, that it's comparing this profitability to, look at what exchanges are available, if you wanna even sell this cryptocurrency. It's kind of more complicated than just looking at the numbers here and choosing the highest one, in my opinion. And I'd also recommend choosing different mining calculators to just amass all of that information to see really what is the most profitable. But I think my opinion on all this, thanks for asking, is I've always had good luck on something like this, just finding a stable cryptocurrency and really Ethereum Classic, whether you like it, don't like it, really doesn't matter for this sake, but if we're looking at just income generated, Zilliq has been around for a long time, Ethereum Classic's been around for a long time, people have been mining those together for a long time and Arguably, and this is just my opinion over all of this, it's the most stable form of income over time versus jumping around to like the latest coin or jumping around to a coin that all of a sudden has a spike in profit. Just takes a lot of work and you can absolutely do that and you can if you have a higher risk tolerance. But for me at this point in the game, ultimately, I like just finding, especially for ASIC miners, just like the most stable tried and true over months, really years has been profitable and has remained around and there's pools that support it and there's exchanges that support it, etc. So for me, my strategy on this, I'm gonna be putting this on Ethereum Classic and Zilliqa mining. I'm gonna let it sit on there. I might do some spec mining with it on some of the coins that have come out that use the ad hash mining algorithm. But I think ultimately it's gonna sit on Ethereum Classic plus Zilliqa, probably over on Ezil and just grind it out and just accumulate coin. And then I may sell a little bit to cover the electric costs uh, of this miner as well. But in the end, super quiet, crazy power efficient. The numbers that Jazz Miner and Jingle Mining have up on their website are very accurate to uh, an overall view of what the miner is gonna provide you and that plus or minus 10% is very accurate as well considering the results that I got and was able to show off in this video. So ultimately, would I recommend this? I think it's a really cool miner and just for that sake, absolutely. What you have to do is decide if it's worth the investment for you. And you gotta do all your own numbers and all your own math and figure out that. But I'm super stoked to have it Big thanks over Jingle Mining for sending it over to me. You can check out links in the video description to their site if you wanna purchase one. But that's it for this video. I appreciate you watching. Thanks so much for being here and catching up with me. 
and join my Discord. Links down in the description. Social media links are down there as well. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below and I'll do my absolute best to answer them. But that's it. Please take care of yourself, take care of each other, and I'll see you in the next video. Proof of.